What's up everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. To get us started in today's video, we've got a tweet from King Doggo XRP. He says, I'm going to sleep in 30 minutes and I'll wake up with Flare trading below 5 cents. I'm not here to cost FUD. Flare Networks is the second best thing that happened to crypto as they will bridge all the blockchains. Short term drop, then later on we will rise after the weak hands. And guys, the day has finally arrived for the XRP army. Flare just dropped and this will finally prove the worth of XRP to the entire community. If you're new to the XRP army, stay tuned because I have some amazing amazing news for you. As always, welcome back to Moneyside, your favorite crypto news channel. If you're new here, welcome to the XRP Army. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our daily crypto news updates. We started building RippleNet with the thesis that crypto liquidity would eventually be able to support robust global payments, large payments. RippleNet was designed so that customers seeing the benefits of our fiat-based network could flip the switch to ODL once the market was insured enough. And this is exactly what's happening. Flip the switch. Yes, well, much of the cost is because you're moving from one ledger to another. It's hard to get sort of down into the accounting, but you're moving from one fiat currency to another fiat currency, which are in essence kept on two different ledger systems called two different commercial banking systems in, did you say Tanzania to Nigeria? So you have two different ledger systems. And it, over the centuries, a uh, whole process of Maristro accounts and the setting up uh, of the account base to do that. It can be done on blockchain. Uh, and between two central banks, but the thinking is is that you might need some bridge currency between Tanzania and Nigeria. And there's a number of of, of, of uh, blockchain technologies that do that. That basically, instead of SWIFT, which is just a messaging system, and then the banks have to somehow pre-fund in Nostra accounts. I hope I didn't lose too many people, but this is about the technology of banking, not the technology of blockchain. Um, but to go between Tanzania and Nigeria, you need, you need somebody to bear some counterparty risk that the ledgers both move and are adjusted at the same time. And usually it's a bank that is in both countries. You could use blockchain, but you, the current thinking is you need a bridge currency in between, and that bridge could be a stable value that's, that's just, you know, backed by the US dollar or the euro. It could be a currency even like Ripple has an alternative. It's just piloted in many, so it's it's not yet up in any enterprise wise level. Um, but that you might need something to, to basically hop, skip, jump. Tanzi, I don't know the currency of Tanzania, but Tanzanian currency to skip to Nigeria, you might need something in the middle, which is part of bridge currency on blockchain. Check this out. According to this tweet, there are about 4.5 million XRP wallets. A lot of folks have multiple wallets, but three and a half million accounts have 500 or less XRP. A little over 200,000 hold between 10,000 and 100,000 XRP. For some reason, every person I meet always wants to know how much XRP is enough. But to be honest, guys, anyone who asks that question probably hasn't paid enough attention to my channel. Anyway, if someone can invest over 100,000 worth of XRP in this coin, what do you think is running through their minds? 10,000 XRP is considerably a large number. Imagine having such an amount in your wallet and all of a sudden XRP hits $10. That's a life-altering move. And I hope that some of us are going to be there to witness such a bullish trend. I believe this crypto is headed to $100 or even more, but that's not something that's going to happen overnight. We still have to deal with Gary Gensler, who seems to be running out of time. And when this court case is finally 
finally over, all of my XRP family are going to be smiling all the way to their bank. Only a few select people can afford to buy around $10,000 worth of XRP. Most people in America right now are living from paycheck to paycheck. And it's impossible to invest such huge amounts into crypto, or anywhere for that matter. But if you can, well, I guarantee you that you won't regret it. If today XRP just did a price jump to $10, you'll have over $100,000 worth of XRP. Imagine that! Unfortunately, the mainstream media shows us that cryptos are a scam, and that's the narrative that they're going to continue selling to everyone. If you don't know this, bad news travels faster than good news. And for selfish reasons, most people will try and hide the fact that they've invested heavily in XRP. So US dollar fiat to crypto Bitcoin to Philippine peso, that is called a bridge crypto or bridge currency. That's in fact what Ripple is trying to do with XRP. So Ripple is a company that started as a mech messaging, a payment messaging service to compete with Swift. And that, that messaging service, uh, which we'll talk about more Thursday, has been adopted by many banks. More recently, in 2018, they rolled out a prototype of using a crypto token, XRP, as a bridge currency. I would say yes, that is possible. I think there's an issue also about volatility. So if you're you're moving fiat dollar to crypto, Bitcoin XRP to fiat, if you have a lot of volatility, that uh, that means it's it's a less um, it's, it's it could be costly, but if it's stable value. So you can, you can lower the cost two ways, lowering the volatility of the crypto or lower the time. And uh, XRP believes they have a solution that can be down to seconds. And thus, even if it's volatility, that in seconds it won't move as much. And the friction will be that you have to sell dollars to buy XRP and then sell XRP to buy peso or, or you can interpose any bridge currency. Uh, one of the most significant opportunities for stable value tokens that we'll talk about in a few classes is maybe is what we can call it as a bridge currency for cross-border. So take your time and do your own research. Hopefully, you'll come to the same conclusion I did. As always, please do your own research and always trade safely, guys. Please keep in mind we're not a licensed financial advisor. All videos on this channel are intended for entertainment purposes only. You can always let us know what you think in the comment section below and start up a conversation. Thanks as always for watching. Couldn't be here without you. Don't forget to like this video and please click on that subscribe button below and turn on notifications. That way you'll get informed whenever we post our amazing content. Thanks again, and we will see you on the next Money Side.